blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Yes, we are in the house of our God again, and we shall continue until himself decides. And uh, the word of God, as we already know, is our spiritual nourishment. We cannot say that we, uh, we should see, feed on it only and forget about it. looking for the other one, which is for physical nourishment. All of them should go together. So, we have been sharing the word of God about the three theo theological virtues, faith, hope, and today we are going to the greatest of all. Without practicing it, we shall never enter heaven. I don't know where we shall go. We are even going to see the quotes because I have to, 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 to defend what I am preaching from the word of God in the Bible and the teaching of the saints and overall Jesus himself. We shall be judged on charity. Even if we have a faith as big as mountains, even if we talk in the tongues, everything is in the Bible here, what I am mentioning. And we have no charity, everything is useless. So, now this most important virtue. How do we hear it? Because we have been told, we have been warned. Without it, we forget about heaven. The English say, you know, that's why I wrote the book. Appetizer as a food for thought. You get a saying, you may, it may be amusing, you may even laugh, as some people have been telling me when they are laughing, you listen to my appetizers on Radio Maria. But what is the moral lesson? It is uh, amusing, all right. It can even be about animals, about what, but we go for the moral lesson. So there is an English saying that the charity begins where? See? Now, when you say charity begins at home, and you stop there, and yesterday I told you that whatever we do, whatever you hear, whatever we speak, we should always convert it into the spiritual interpretation. So, when you say charity begins at home, and you stop there, you will not get even one percent on the spiritual from the spiritual examiner. So we add that charity begins at home and don't leave it there. You see, I'm teaching you some weird, uh, modern technologies. It is there, or even when you go to Google, it will tell you charity begins at home. But now for us, on the spiritual dimension, we must add. Yes, it begins at home. Don't leave it there. Don't leave the charity there and say it, it, it begins at home. We are supposed to be charitable everywhere. So, Jesus himself emphasized on this charity. Himself. And actually, all his teaching is centered on that charity. Even his purpose of coming, being sent by his father to become a man, was a charitable act. Everything he did was based on charity. So when he said, I was hungry, and you did not give me what to eat. I was thirsty. You never gave me a glass of water to drink. 
I was naked. You never gave me a coat to put on. I was homeless. You never accommodated me in your house. I was in prison. You never visited me. I was in the hospital. You never visited me. Now, go. They left. And they left. You know, we are now in the world. We are mixed. We are mixed. We shall only know where we belong at the last judgment. But now we are mixed. In the family, we are mixed. In each country, we are mixed. In the schools, they are equal. They are good. They are everywhere. We are mixed. But the, the judgment is where he is now. You see how he has given us this. You will read it in Matthew chapter 25, verse 35 to 37. You should even highlight it. Don't uh, see highlighting the Bible. Because when you highlight it, when it will be yellow, and you open it, it will be reminding you that, hey, other people will be going to the left, and others will be going to the right. Where shall I go? Now, we have another saying in English that uh, God is case no appeal. So people will start appealing, no, because they were real followers. They even performed the miracles using his name. Lord, what are you talking? When did we see you hungry and we, we refuse to give you food? When did we see you naked? When did we see you thirsty? Really, when did tell us? When they say God is case, no, I mean, you cannot make it. Jesus to change his, his judgment. His judgment is fine. That's why it is called the last judgment. The final. Then the answer will just say to, you, to humiliate you. He, he will just say, no. That one you never gave food. That one you never accommodated. That one you never gave a glass of water. That one you refused to visit in prison, in hospital. It was me. Now, can you argue with Jesus? You can. You go. So, that is chapter. Then the other ones, of course, they, it is the opposite. As we are being uh, divided, you will say, you gave me, you gave me something to eat. You gave me some uh, glass of water to drink. You visited me in the hospital. But now, he's uh, taking them to the place of eternal happiness. But they also, it seems they are humble. They want to know. When, when did we really give you? For us, we are only giving other people on earth, their neighbors. They will say that one whom you gave. It was me. So we are on charity. And all these three theological values, although I will be adding another one tomorrow called humility, this is three. Faith, hope, and charity have been adopted by girls. I've never heard of the men using it. They all don't say names. Girls are called, called faith. Other girls are called hope. Other girls are called charity. I always joke with the one where I buy the, the medicine for my son and send the pharmacy makes it to Hapland. I said, you are called charity. He said, yes. She said, why, why are you asking, don't I resemble my name? I said, I haven't proved it. I did. I started now talking with her. I said, indeed, you resemble your name because sometimes the money may not be there. Then I will use it to, to get the medicine monthly because my son had to take the medicine, medicine every day. But I am not a businessman that I get the money from my business, then I find, no, I wait for my pension. 
So she would allow me, she would say, no, 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 you will pay at the end of the month. Then I say, indeed, you resemble your name. So those names which we carry, I don't know, they really concentrate on, 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 the, on the spiritual interpretation of those words. So St. Paul, uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13, you see, I cannot come here to start talking without making a reference. For you and I have already informed you that I'm on YouTube, whatever I talk here, it will be uploaded and put on YouTube. You just type on Fremwa Baba, click subscribe, free of charge. You will listen to this preaching at your own time. So even if you, you don't write, you will still listen to it. And then with your Bible, you will go and see First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13. St. Paul said, faith, hope, and love are the virtues for us. But the greatest of all is that charity. So that one you read on your own. But uh, when you are reading, I should have even just given you that you only read 13, I just I should have said from verse 1 to 13, that is the real comprehensive uh, teaching on these virtues. So St. Paul says, if I speak, in the terms of men and of angels, imagine. There are people who are extraordinary. They can speak in tongues and they say, yeah, the Holy Spirit is working as it worked on the, the apostles on the Pentecost, that they spoke in tongues because people who came from Libya, Macedonia, but those here don't want the Mesopotamia, all of those, they were understanding in their own languages. So, Paul questions us that even if we speak in those terms, whether we are saying or whatever, because he are saying terms of men or angels, but he have no love. I am a noisy bomb or a clanging camel symbol, gym symbol. And if I have prophetic powers, me when I was reading it, I got humble. Because we are looking at people who can even prophesy. We are looking at people who are really high up in their city spirituality and people even look for them. But he is saying, people we can talk in the, like the, 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 the angels. And we have got the prophetic powers. And uh, we can understand all the mysteries. And uh, all the knowledge. And I have all the faith so as to remove mountains. But have no love. Charity, I am nothing. Imagine, after laboring all your life time, performing miracles, prophesying, and people come, yes, he told me this and it happened. But there is no love. You are doing it just for commercial purposes. That you are nothing. Nothing completely. Go and read 1 Corinthians chapter. 13 verse 1 to 13. Yes, we are on the Bible. I've compiled a whole pick here. We are the pick from the Old Testament. And then we see where we can also emulate who we'll put ourselves in. Because those were human beings. They were not the angels. The ones we are learning about, they were human beings like us. They even lived in some years like uh, we are going to live. Then what stops us from practicing what they practice and get 
we know how God rewarded them. So this one we go to First uh, Kings chapter 17, verse 8 to 16. It has been a very classic one that is story. In the Old Testament, even it can move people with tears, with tears. He is a widow who had flour and a oil with her son. She is a widow. She is with a son, and there is a drought. I have nothing to feed them. 
Let them die. Where do I get uh, food now for them? They are going to die. When he went to the store, he found it. Wheat flour, food, up to the sea. He said, hey! That's why I'm saying I got humble. I thought it was happening to the widow with the right of only. It can happen. Don't think God is a sleeping God. It can happen and it will still continue to happen. Charity. Only be charitable and you will see the outcome. Now we look at where charity is also being practiced or even demonstrated. The wedding at Cali. Jesus has been in that. Here they, they, they are branched out of the world. Madam Mary with her charitable heart. When I said charity begins at four and you don't leave it today, that is what now Madam Mary was doing. She was concerned. The, the way they still early, people are not going home now but they went as they go to finish. And you know the story. I don't have to go deep in that. The wine Jesus made from the water, after commanding the water to become wine, was eaten it sweeter than the wine which they were serving. The story, you know it. You know it. Now, another charitable act. Because Jesus, as he told us, I was hungry. He never gave me anything to eat. Did he practice what he was teaching, telling people? Are we telling people what to do? And for ourselves, we have never given, it, given an example. Said the Mother Teresa of Calcutta yesterday, saying, It is easier. To give an example, but it is very difficult to be an example. Jesus had to be an example in whatever he was teaching. Whether he was talking about forgiveness, the first word on the cross was forgiving his murderers. Whether he was talking of uh, feeding the hungry, uh, here he multiplied the bread and the fish. People ate, people ate until even they got the, 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 the balance. So we are called to practice what we preach. To practice what we preach. I will only give some cautions later on because the devil also infiltrates. Okay, we have this and the poor our patron set of this uh, congregation informed in the the congregation of Daughters of Charity. And uh, we have Mother Teresa of Calcutta. She also formed the Missionaries of Charity. I've already told you about the John Mary Piane. And uh, we have some saints who were also teaching about this charity. No, we can get from the Bible, but we know that the, since it is the yardstick of going to heaven, the saints made sure that they, they have the faith all right, they have the hope all right of eternal happiness in, the, in the heaven. But what have they done? How have they been taught about the, the charity and how have they put it in practice? So, with the Vianney, he said, Our Lord is never found in Home, pleasure, but in the loneliness and the humiliation. He is not found in the beaches where people are enjoying it was night, it gets up and what oh no, grab a beaches. Oh, he is not found there according to the enemy. He is found in prisons, he is found in slums, he is found in ghettos, 
where people are giving up hope to the life, the life they are really looking at just the, the, the end of their life. That is where his meaning is that the charity should be taken. And that indeed, when you look around, if you want to prove such, I was invited by the missionaries of the poor, they are in Mutungo, their house is in Mutungo. And uh, the, the spirit was called Father Augustine from Jamaica. So he rang me when I was still in the Air Force. He said, Father, I don't know the place, but they will come. And it was Father Sebring of whom I met in the town. I said, Father, do you know where Mutungo is? He said, the, the, the missionary saw them, he said, oh, yeah, yeah. come, come, I said, I thought we were going to get lost. We entered the taxi, ah, we reached. Yeah, they welcomed us, gave us some lunch. I thought we would just say, talk about St. Fromin, and then I come back, no. The superior said, ah, Captain, we can go together. It is, it is a house in the he said there. When we entered like this, it is good to visit such places, then you will really understand that the suffering is in the world. Eh, I wanted to run out. I saw people come. Eh, eh, eh. I said, Father, what is it? He said, ah, We collect them, and uh, this is where we look up uh, after them. Eh, missionaries of the poor. They go collecting, they'll see. I don't know, they are human beings, but they are not no more, they are not what? Nah. That is where we learn about our uselessness in, in these enjoyments and so on. Pray the late president of Tanzania, Julius Nyerere, uh, you, you know his humility. He also entered, he, he went. Uh, to see the, the, the mental asylum. So when he entered, one of the many men came to him. The president with all the escorts and bodyguards said this. said, who are you? Asking Nyerere. Nyerere said, I am the president of, I am Julius Nyerere, the president of Tanzania. <laughs> And even me, when I was outside, I was calling myself the president of Tanzania. But with you, huh, I think your problem is very big. Me, I was brought by only two people, but all these people have brought you here. <laughs> That's when you know that in the world, but now, somebody who was very normal, now he thought the bodyguards have brought Nyerere to the mental asylum. He has to say the problem, but his is worse than me. He, because he was brought by only two people. But in Nyerere only, Nyerere just looked at him and understood. When you visit such places and you shed tears, don't think that uh, they will say, I uh, live here about tears, that he cries like a woman. No, it is the real emotion. Especially when somebody was a very normal person before. Now he's there talking like that. Okay, now St. Patrick will say, Charity is the measure of which our Lord will judge us all. Finished. Charity. Not how many rosaries you pray in a year, not how many masses you attended if you have made a record uh, in a year. No, every year, I mean, all throughout your lifespan. Not how many times you have gone to the Holy Land. Not how many times you have done whatever you have done without doing it from the heart. And that is Jesus himself. This is what we are talking like that. He is talking as a representative of Jesus. Jesus was in, in the temple, watching people, giving their offertory. But after the offer, he had to preach to them that among all of those who have given the offer, the widow who gave the two coins has given the greatest. And how? When people have brought millions and thousands of dollars, yes, she gave all she had. 
but the ones who brought millions, they just subtracted from the pension fund they were stealing just in one million and yet they have billions. He said they have given out of the plenty, but the widow gave all she had. You see how complicated it is to go to heaven? When they say that it is a narrow gate, don't think they are talking about the gate like the door. It is this. I will keep reminding you, whatever when you say a door like that, make it spirit, interpret it. Say, hey, is it meaning the fiscal door? When uh, on my book for the darkness to light, you follow the, the first edition, you will see Jesus knocking at the door with a lamp, carrying a lamp, that is light. Now that door, of course I got it from the Bible, the, the verse, that door can only be opened from inside. So when he knocks and he don't open, he doesn't enter. You think that picture means the physical door? No, it's, it's meaning your heart. You will have to open the heart for Jesus to enter. He does not force himself to enter into your heart. Change everything you see around, whether a tree, look at the tree, then you remember what they, 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 they have talked about a tree in, in, in the Bible. Everything, whether you are eating food, change it into spirit. Okay, St. Augustine said, find out how much God has given you, which is very easy to find out whether he has given you, I don't know, 10 cars. <laughs> Let me read it directly. Find out how much God has given you, and from it, take what you need. Then the remainder is needed by others. Hey. I'm telling you. <laughs> hey. It is next to impossible. Is it a you want to grab even the little which the other people who need what they have and add to what again God has given you. You see? You see how difficult it is to go to heaven. How can you steal the attention of a person who, who does not have even any other money but is living on that attention? And yet you have billions on your account and you steal. This is what he is giving. Then, this and the Paul say, Charity is the cement which binds communities to God and the persons to one another. Charity is the one which binds communities to God, then persons to one another. Yes. Also, the Bible of the city tells us, it tells us that now we are coming to how we apply this charity. And in the banana, I don't know what was left in the Bible. Whatever we are sharing, we you know, I know we are practicing, we are we have witnessed it. You look at this one. It is in Matthew chapter 6, verse 2 to 5. That when you give, let the other hand not know. Now again, you don't interpret that this hand. How can this hand again know what is it? You might not know. You listen, okay? Let me not be just interrupt. That when you give, let the other hand not know. Don't trumpet as hypocrites do. I tell you, they have got their reward. Let your father, who sees what is done in secrecy, reward you. Matthew chapter 6, verse 2 to 5. Have you been here, people, talking that I am the one who paid for that interest? Right from primary, he had no sponsor. I am the one who paid his fees up to the same until he became a priest. Oh, um, uh, 
you have done in the good day, they will work now, you are drunk and sick. You are dead in the good day. You see that president there, uh, he has no parents, I'm the one who educated him, oh God. Now what do you want? You are doing it as a charitable work, and a God who sees everything, even in secrets, is the one who will reward you. Now you are telling the whole public. That's why they are saying, lately, when you are given with this man, they desire not to know. It is not a physical interpreter, no. I will again return a bit, even I can. Danny, there was a boy who was in the Yamasika Seminary from Ginger. He was listening to my program on Radio Maria, and uh, he sent me a message. He said, Nigeria, uh, I am from Ginger, and my parents are. Uh, Incapable of uh, educating us, the, the children. I am the only one through the assistance of uh, some old benefactors who have helped me to reach where I, I am at the Yamaseka Seminary. But I don't know whether I will finish. I told him, said, Well, I'm not also in a good position at the moment. But I promise you pray for me. Pray daily. There's a job I've applied for in your hand. When I get that job, please, I will meet your expenses of your formation in the seminary until you, you, you are ordained and ready. He said, okay, I will pray. So, did he pray? I got the job. I kept my promise. I'm bringing this for teaching purpose, not with the other one of a prophet. I kept my promise every month. I was sending money. To him. Then Father Suna, Oscar, a king, he is a lecturer in that seminar. So when he came to say mass, I, I had never seen the boy, so I wanted to inform him about the boy and uh, if he, he knows him. Then he, I described, I told him, he said, okay. So he kept on now coming, then I kept on. Uh, Telling him what I'm doing as he had been asking for assistance. Uh, these things of God are very complicated. So he told me, and he was not the only priest, he said, Please, I know you have a good heart. Do not make your family suffer because you want to fulfill your promise. Give what you can, the little you can, the boy is not going to grow up. He said, hey. he said, okay, Father. So I reduced the amount. He said, just reduce the amount, don't spread yourself. Now, when I went to Bala and again shared with another priest, the parish priest of St. Austin, he said, do you know that uh, you will be the reason for making him lose his vocation? He said, hey, Father, I'm doing a charitable work. He said, no. The money you are going to give him, the money you are giving him money, can make him even he refuse to enjoy himself and doesn't concentrate on his vocation. I said, okay. I said, I understood. The, the, the devil, he yeah, will come to me today. The devil can come in again to sabotage your charitable act. So the boy, I told him, I said, now, my children are also entering university, they are 
please tell it. So I have been the boy was understanding. But when it reached the ordination, he gave me a whole list of the requirements, so the assessments, what, everything. Ah. So I brought him father. In fact, I was oh, very regular here for our mass. I said, Father, I think now I'm happy it's going to be ordained. Uh, these are the, the, the requirements. I'm budgeting for it. Father said, Please, there is no seminarian who can be ordained without the parish where he comes from meeting the cost of this. And uh, the seminarians we have is a fan who comes from Rome. You see, you must uh, all, always ask the Holy Spirit of whatever you are doing, whether good or bad. Don't be just be, be taken that yes. Uh, okay, now I will come to it in detail. It is ahead. I'm going to tell you how people have taken advantage of it. Charita, I'm going to tell you very soon uh, that we not run out of time because this is the, 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 the most important virtue of all the three virtues. The first Thessalonians, actually I'm starting now. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 10. Paul said, Paul is warning, warning. He said, when I came to you, was I begging food from you, you people? I was working. He was making tents, he was doing some money generating things so that he survived. You know, not everything is written in the, in the, in the Bible because it was years and years when he, he was doing this ministry. He's saying, if anyone is not willing to work, let him not eat. See? Now, from the, 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 the words of said, Paul himself, you are not supposed to abuse charity. You are not supposed to abuse charity. A woman in our parish here, Ugonga Parish, first he went into the family of the Varenses and asked for some assistance, financial assistance. And the people just assume that the people are rich. When they look at us here, yeah, they know who is rich, the vehicles they drive, the houses they sleep in. So they didn't have the money needed to give to give her. You know what she said? That statement alone means a lot. Don't take things for granted. You must ask the Holy Spirit to guide you in whatever you are doing. Then this one was told, told to me by my fellow lawyer when I was in the court martial appeal court. He was a major. I was also a major at that time. He was driving to Mubende. Oh, with his driver, he was seated in civilian brothers at night. So when he reached, you know how you drive along the road, you can reach a dark place, you can reach a forest. You can... So eh, he saw a woman, a woman carrying a baby, stopping the, the vehicle. He told the driver, stop, stop. How can a woman st stand here with a baby, with a bag? Said he stopped. Then she said, okay, the Luganda. That uh, we are stranded here. I'm going in front of their place. He said, No, come, come. He said, you Now, the media said, When I told her, Now you sit, you sit, let uh, your back be put in the in the room. He said, No, 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 no. I must stay with my back. Hey, you know, that's why I'm saying that the Holy Spirit, you must also be wise, intelligent, want everything. He said, I became suspicious. We are helping her. And we are in the same car. Why is she refusing the, the, the fact that we put in the, in, the, in the boat? So he said, when we drove and reached a certain dark forest, she said, there, there, there. That, that's where I'm getting out. 
the major said that the only environment this is a wrong woman and this go up to police station. Is this a place where we, we have to do drop out there? You know, no house here, no, no part here. No, she's a wrong woman. He said we drove up to the police station. I told the police, check this woman. I'm suspicious uh, on her. They opened the bar and there was a pistol. There was a pistol in the bar. Where she was saying, stop here, stop here, that is where the gun was. They were just coming. Now, you want the church to be your thing, you are doing the work of God. Some priests have been in Just be, have you ever seen a priest or going, going to celebrate mass and meeting people on the way and say, hey, we are in the new to get in the No. No. Another one was in Tororo, that one was in the news, whenever I tell the police about that story, they said, oh yes, yes, we know about the story. And then I started fearing because I was coming from Mbaru one time with my first car tour, they stopped me at the police, I was remembering that story. These wrong people, they do real homework. They know you are going to come back. They know you are alone in it. They know when you will be going. They keep trading you. If you have no wisdom, you will just fall into the trap of the tricks and snares of certain idols. So they went to this gentleman. Sir, we are two going to Kampala. We are requesting if you can help us, drop us. Hey, see, so that is where I'm going. He doesn't know that they had already known they were trading him. So he said, We can go. Robert at night. When they reached the Kusitema, oh, I want to have a short call here. But when he stopped like this, ah, kill him and they took this. Now, where, where are we going to be? Charitable, somebody is doing something with charity, and you are dying like that. Then there was a woman in the, that one you can get it on social media. I like it very much. It is on social media. In, in Europe, she was always with a team. Begging, people were really giving her money. The bank was looking back. Others were even asking her, What happened? I got an accident. A Muslim so don't think that this wrong thing is to happen here only. I got an accident. Eh, for years and years, she was getting money because they were surprised at how a Muslim can reach that level. They are from Muslim. Then, you see, journalists, how they are trained. The journalist did the interest in this whole big woman. He said, No, let me follow her where she is going. So he followed me. Ah, of course, with the camera, she was not noticing. And he found a very expensive compact there. She removed her clothes and then put in her bag and later the Hey, a big driving a kind of <laughs> Now, who are we going to help and who are we not going to, to, to help? Eh? In my village, when I was in primary, because my father, there were only three teachers in that whole village. So they knew we are children of our own one one. So this man, I was a member, a bachelor, he would sell his matok in, in the market. Then he times, they know very well when you have even supper. We are having supper with my father. He comes drunk singing. Hey, my father would tell his wife that you give him the sauce we need. So he made it a routine. My father told him, You ma, you are always selling your matoke and you are drinking the money, and then you come and eat the food of my children and leave them hungry from today, never come to my house. But they see. Now, I've confused you. I was telling you to be charitable. I'm now discouraging you from being uh, 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 charitable. So, uh, uh, it is now left to you because we must pray for wisdom. Eh? A woman here, also again in our parish, she was going to the sisters' home and the blue sisters. Eh? After mass, moreover, we pray with her every morning mass. Before the sisters even come to the table, she's already serving her. 
the, the, the breakfast. She waits till she's eat. Ah, the, you know the sisters also have their the ones responsible for catering. What, what? So that sister came and I told her, never, never, never again to come. You have you ever seen us coming to you, to your home? They chased her. Now she started following two women, the, the other one who died, and then the another one has just been with, the, with her now. She gave me a confusion for that video. So that's where she was eating. She was coming to my house. Every day also after she has been chased, this way, this, we eat breakfast. We eat it. She asked for the matok from my garden. We had matok in my garden on the green road. Because now, what annoyed me, even if we are charitable, she was reading stories of a private life of all the priests around. I said, hey, now if I keep on entertaining, he, he, because I've read some books that when you are sitting, it's not only the words you are talking, but when you are also sitting by the ears. Uh -huh. I said, I need uh, advice. I went to Father to one. So I told him, Father, to I said, what do I do to this woman? He said, now wait for her, Father Bill, when you finish the Mass, call her aside. Then he tell her that, please, from today, let us be meeting at the church only. I have got my issues in my family. Don't come to my house. So I, at least he tells you the facts. I waited for her. When he says the boy had back and then she was going to enter, he called her and said, Excuse me, let me talk to you. Then I told her, oh, This is what is happening, you are now. What? You are childish. You are childish. I said, You need counseling. <laughs> I wish, wish it's precious. It's the precious that will separate us. I was going to box her. I said, You there, there. <laughs> you need the castle. Hmm? I said, uh, <laughs> now, as I'm talking, the children build the house for her. And when I leave you here and I go to Padre Pio to preach and finish the mass, she's the first to come to my car. I want the lift. I said, the enter. Yeah, because now you balance. You don't say. Do you remember when you abused me at the session that I'm trying to show what? No. I'm coming to her every day. Please, watch your language. Watch your. Then another, when you were renovating this shrine, we were having the, the mass outside in the tent. But these people, do they use witchcraft or how do they know? Because I was already a retired man finishing my rentals. I don't know how she knew I would put money for the workers that day. Uh, when we finish the mass like this, we're getting out. A border border came, and the woman came out of the border. Kano, Kano, how are you? She went down. I said, yes, how, what is it? They know, you see, I'm Mrs. Sismanda, so of any house, he got into, we got two children, he has abandoned me, he, now me, uh, they are chasing me three months rent, I am working with the other company, she got their dead card, I said, please, if you can give me 300,000 shillings, I want to pay this rent, I will pay from my salary, at the end of this month, I can even make it an agreement here. She got the paper and said, right here. Then when I saw the telephone numbers, I went aside, I ran. And it ran, I said, oh, it is genuine. I gave her the 300. When it reached the time for pay, when I was trying to ring her, the telephone, he said, it's not on the network. <laughs> hey! I said, me, I'm not going to police. Because police will demand it to look for her, will it be more than that 300. So, I just said, you know what I mean, but uh, I caution people on Radio Maria. I said, uh, if you look what has produced that daughter, she's uh, conning people. Because uh, when she, she told me the name of the husband, I ran and it went through. I told him, I said, Did you, you have uh, two children with uh, your former wife. Right? He said, ah, 
My wife is a mchiga, me am in Guru here, but I don't know that woman you are talking about. That is the greatest virtue, but we don't abuse charity. <laughs> Don't bring fake stories that because those people are rich, they have everything, you will pay for it at the last judgment in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm.